What is good, YouTube? It's your boy Legendary, and we are back here for another episode of the Brooklyn Nets My Jam series. Now, I'm not posting this in a couple of days, but you know, since it is a weekend, I do plan on actually uploading some NBA content. So let me know what we should be talking about. And obviously, if you guys want to see more of the Nets series, make sure you go ahead and smash the like button. Like I said, we're going to move through this season very, very quickly, and then start up a new series uh, right, like literally right after that. Obviously, this year we're trying to win the championship. But other than that, like I said, if you guys enjoy it, make sure you go ahead and like it up. Let's get 120 likes for another episode, and let me know which matchups you guys want to see. Right now, we currently have a record of 35 and 12, and we're going to be taking on the Orlando Magic. But before then, obviously, we've simmed a bunch of games. Uh, we've been dealing with a couple of injuries, but nonetheless, we're still the best team in the NBA. Like, there's no, yeah, only the Lakers have more wins, and I think that we can hand them an L if we actually, you know, run into them. But let's check out all of the stats. We're led in points by Cam Reddish and then D'Angelo Russell. And yeah, that's about it. And Keon Brooks, we did just put him back in the G League since he's been uh, out with injury. And I can also just go ahead and do this right now. D'Angelo Russell, an extension. The boy has been killing it. We'll give him that back. There we go. So we go ahead and we do that. Uh, Drummond was a test for agency. We're not going to move him because we actually like low-key need him. But other than that, obviously, we, the Atlanta Magic, they took Sharif O'Neal in the draft. We actually wanted him in the draft, but the lineup is Kobe White, Anthony Edwards, Jonathan Isaac, Sharif O'Neal, Mo Bamba, and off the bench, they got, and off the bench, they got Otto Porter, Trey Burke, Paul Zipser, and a bunch of other, like, actually, this bench is actually pretty solid. This is actually a really, really solid bench. They got Van Vliet there as well, Brogdon, Monroe. This should be a fun game. I mean... What's the record? They're probably not like, like a super high seed. Oh, yeah, they're, they're one of the worst teams in the Eastern Conference. But nonetheless, this should be a really fun match. So we're going to see what Sharif does against Pascal Siakam. But other than that, we should just blow these guys out. It shouldn't be that difficult. Center. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. From the sideline, our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Last game for the Nets, they picked up a W against the Knicks in New York. Yeah, and in that game, we saw a lot of sloppy play from the opposing offense. They caught the ball up, a lot of unforced turnovers. And that did make things relatively hey, easy for them. You know, it's Ready? nice to get a win and not have to work too hard for it. But getting straight into the gameplay, let's see what we can actually do. Obviously, we're going to be focusing on the matchup that involves Sharif O'Neal just because, I mean, he's just, like, the main focus of this game. Unless I would have no, like, real reason to even play the Orlando Magic. But here's D'Angelo Russell. Easy shot for him. Yo, D'Lo, in real life, obviously, he's going to be an all-star this season, especially with Oladipo being hurt. But in the game, this man just turned into a superstar. So let me know if you guys think that the Lakers should be regretting that trade or not. But regardless, let's get back into this gameplay. Mo Bamba with the rock. Off to Isaac. Off to Kobe White. Let's see what he can do, actually. Let's see if we can get that block up. Come on. If we can just play some really good defense, we should have won this game. And yes, I know we have a way better record, but they have some really good talent on this team. And they can sneak up and actually possibly get a dud. Here we go. We find Cam Reddish. Another easy jumper for them. But as I was saying, guys, let me know how many more games you guys want to see this season. I'm probably going to show one or two. And I'm not sure if I want to show if I, if I want to show All-Star Weekend. But, you know, give me, start giving me some ideas for which team we should be looking at next. Obviously, I mean, the Phoenix Suns is kind of cool. But I really want to do an Eastern Conference team more than just like a West team. And just a team that doesn't get as much hype and as much pub as like one of these huge market teams kind of teams something like that like I really want to make my next series more of a challenge because honestly in real life the Brooklyn Nets they were actually playing decent and then we have a bunch of cap room they're gonna offer all the young players of course I would really like it to where I have like a mid-level team I feel like that would be more fun to like watch and a lot 
more interesting in general. So let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section below. But getting back into here's Pat Scott Siakam. I ain't gonna lie, in this game, this man was just chilling in the corner for like most of it. We would see him on the drive and just kick it out to him. It was honestly really, really easy. Like it was really, really easy. Here we go on some defense. Come on, nice steal right there. Come on. And if we can play at a faster pace, I'll be happy. Like, I would like playing with a really, really fast team. And so far, it's been working out for us. All right. That, that was actually a good shot creation by Kobe White. Right now, they do got the lead by nine points, which that really happened whenever I started SimCast. Because you guys know I do SimCast a lot of it. Whenever I left, we we were up. Come back, we're down by 10. I, I really like that. Here's D-Lo. Come on, man. You got to make that shot or at least take a better shot. Come on. Get the stop. Get the stop. All right. Now, let's run fast. D-Lo on the break. And that's too easy. Like I keep on saying, man, if we if we just play our game, no team should actually beat us. You know, at this moment in the game, Sharif isn't doing all of that. I think at this point, he has like around like five points or something. And most of us come like within the paint. Here's Kobe White on the three. Okay. Okay. We're not going to let you get that ever again. But, you know, it's a nice little shot. Nice little shot. Here's Lonzo Trier. With the free throw, he knocks that one down. And right now, we're going into halftime with the tie, 69 to 69. And hopefully, we can just pull away in the second half. Hopefully, that sim cast nonsense don't, don't really get me. Because, like I said, whenever I was playing, we had that lead. Whenever I happened to sim cast, we was all of a sudden taking the nail whenever I came back. So, hopefully, that doesn't really affect us in the second half. But going into the second half, D'Angelo Russell, has, he's literally been carrying us. Like, there, there's no real other way of putting it. He carried us that entire first half, as he always does, as he always does every single game. If you guys have been watching the series, but other than that, just getting into it, man. Pascal Siakam is, is our second leading scorer. He has about 13 points. D'Lo has about 20, I believe. Let's we, we can actually go ahead and check that right now. Yeah, D'Lo has 18 and seven. Jonathan Isaac has 11 points, and they are shooting 57% from the field, but we are getting them in assists. And in seals, and that's why we got the depth right now. And we got somebody named D'Angelo Russell who's literally just carrying us. So let's get back into the second half. Hopefully, we see a lot more from Sharif O'Neal, and hopefully, we can just get away from this tie and just extend our lead. That's what we gotta do. So starting off with the second half here is D'Lo. Come on, let's just pull that one. Ooh, so I'm telling you, bro. This man is this man is OP. This man is just overpowered. All right, so let's get back on defense though. Let's play some good defense. That was a good step back. That was a really good step back. And I thought he was making for like a, a quick little second. But here's D-Lo back on the break. Find Cam Reddish for the mid-range shots. Oh. Did he dunk that? Yo. We got to peep that again. I'm, I don't think that he actually dunked that. It looks like Cole Anthony botched the putback dunk. Yeah, he low-key botched that dunk. And it was that. Yo, that that's layup. It's cool layup. Here's Sharif O'Neal from deep, though. He's rocking the number 42. I'll probably go ahead and change it in the next one to like 23 or 22. Or whatever number that is better than four than 40 freaking two. But we find a camera just for the three. He turned back like he was Stephen Curry. But that was literally a shack in the full moment. Alright. Right now we are taking a lead, a good little lead. Here's Sharif again. Now he's actually catching fire a lot in this second half. So if we can just shut him down. We should be good to go. Bruh. Are are we gonna guard him or no? Like, are we actually going to guard him or no? Come on. Come on. Here's D-Lo. Okay. All right, Cam. Cam's been silent. He only got 10 points. He's been really silent. But look at this, man. Nice move. And he hits him with that post fade. All right. Let's 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 clamp up Edwards. No threes, please. Of course, he makes that. Of course, they give him that bucket. Come on. Let's not give up any more threes, especially to Jonathan Isaac. All right. So, right right now in the game, fourth quarter, we're up by seven points on the spin cycle with Cam. Hey, and he drew that foul because, personally, I knew whenever I was doing that spin, it was never going in. But at least he did go ahead and he drew the foul. But going back into it, we knocked down that free throw. Come on. Come on, Cam. D'Lo got 35. What more do you want from him? Literally, here's Pascal, easy money three. 
and I think at this point it's pretty it's pretty easy to say that we're gonna walk out of here with the dub. I mean it's ten it's ten points five minutes, but let's be real, this Magic team ain't really gonna beat us, so it doesn't really matter. In the end, we walk away with the victory, 139 to 123. D'Angelo Russell actually fouled out in the game like uh, shortly after that last clip. But, of course, in, in the end, we walk away with the dub. Let me know what you guys thought about this gameplay. And remember, tomorrow I'm, I am going to be doing a rebuild as well as an NBA video. So, let me know what we should be talking about. But, other than that, let's get straight into the stats because, like I said, man, D'Lo fought out the game. But he did have himself a 35-point game. The boy was literally unstoppable. Like, nobody could stop him, including, I think his name is... Anthony Edwards regardless no one was really stopping him at all and that and that's just purely facts he had 35 points two rebounds 11 assists while shooting three of six from the three and 12 of 24 from the field Pascal Siakam with 24 and 10 also 50 percent from the three Cam Reddish with 22 and eight assists on a whole lot of shots Cole Anthony with 15 German with 15 and 15 uh, and I guess that's all that really matters as far as our team goes. As far as their team, for them, Edwards, he he, he did his thing. 11-21 from the field. Uh, Sharif O'Neal, 16 points, 6 rebounds. A pretty decent game. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Right, and I'll make sure to catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace, y'all.